Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. In this video will discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 297. The problem name is calculate amount paid in taxes. It's an easy level problem. The problem statement says that we are given a 2D integer array brackets where brackets of i contains upper i and percent i meaning that the ith tax bracket has an upper bound of upper of i and is taxed at a percent as a, as a rate of uh, at a rate of percent of i now the brackets are sorted by the upper bound that means upper of i minus 1 is less than upper of i for all the values present in brackets uh, now the tax is calculated uh, by using this concept uh, the first upper of 0 dollars earned are taxed at percent 0 the next upper of 1 minus upper of 0 dollars are earned at uh, are earned uh, are taxed at percent of 1 and similarly upper of the next upper of 2 minus upper of 1 uh, are taxed at percent 2 and so on so we are given an integer income representing the amount of money that we have earned we need to return the amount of money that we have to pay in the form of taxes uh, answer within 10 raised to the power minus 5 of the actual answer will be accepted so let's look into the example so we can see that we have brackets uh, having 3 50 7 10 and 12 25 it says that the first three dollars will be taxed at 50 percent right and then next four dollars because the upper bound of the second bracket is seven and the previous bracket already covered three dollars so that means the difference is four dollars so the next four dollars will be taxed at 10 percent again the next five dollars because 12 12 minus 7 that is 5 next 5 dollars earned will be taxed at 25 percent and so on uh, because it says that it says in the problem that upper of i minus upper of 0 are taxed at percent of i now if, if we see how what will be the total tax then the first three dollars that we earn are taxed at 50 percent so it comes out to be 1.5 dollars the next four dollars because 7 minus 3 is 4 are taxed at 10 percent which comes out to be 0.4 and the remaining three dollars because here the upper bound is 12 but our income is only 10 so we'll be only utilizing three dollars in this tax bracket and that is taxed at 25 percent so it comes out to be 0.75 dollars the total amount is 2.665 dollars so we return this uh 2.65 and uh, triple zero uh, similarly if we look into the second example so we see that the first dollar that is earned is taxed at zero so we have to pay zero taxes for it and then uh, we see that uh, the next, uh, the next, uh, we we just have one 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 dollar remaining, right? So that is taxed as at twenty five percent, or that comes out to be twenty five paisa, uh, twenty five dollars point two five, and so the total amount that we have to pay is point two five dollars, and similarly for third one, the income is zero, so no tax is charged. So yeah, basic implementation type question, uh, a typical I would say easy problem in the lead code weekly contest. So if we look into the implementation then we have taken a variable answer and again uh, uh, now we have taken i to traverse the bracket and a value previous now this value is taken because we need to compute the difference between the current bracket and the previous bracket because we just need to utilize the remaining one right so while income is greater than zero this is the value uh, on which we need to calculate the tax now what is the value either it is brackets of i i comma zero that means the current slab uh, minus previous or the income so what do we mean by this this says that suppose we have an income of 100 remaining right suppose we have an income of 100 and the current bracket says that i i'll co cover only 10 dollars so this will be 10 minus previous so the first one the pre so since this is the first bracket so the previous bracket will be zero so it is minimum of 10 comma 100 that comes out to be 10 however if the tax bracket says that I'll cover fifty dollars, but the remaining amount is only ten dollars, so this will come out to be this value will be greater, and this will be ten. So we'll just be calculating tax on uh, value ten. So that is why this basically gives us the uh, amount on which we need to calculate tax for the current bracket. We deduct it by uh, from the income, and just uh, we we just calculate the tax. So that will be value into the current bracket percentage divided by hundred. Uh, we update our previous so that it can be used in the next iteration uh, so yeah and we increment our i and then we return the final answer so just to clarify uh, we are using the previous value like the first bracket is 350 the second is 710 so it's 
so how many dollars can be utilized in the second tax bracket it will be 7 minus the previous bracket limit that is 3 so that is why we have taken a previous value which is in this case will be 3 so that is why 7 minus 3 that comes out to be 4 so yeah uh, an easy problem and uh, hope you hope you enjoyed this and do support this video by giving up a thumbs up uh, take care and see you in the next video bye bye